How was up, y'all? It's Poppy McCartney D Boss here for this impressive video. It's titled Nicki Minaj Warns Ray J. Diddy's sons confront Ray J. Christian Quincy and Justin better be careful. I saw a headline about this, but I'm not sure what the deets are. Uh, so, yeah, impressive is going to break it down for us. Let's watch. Why did I matter, Ray J? That's random. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. It was reported not too long ago that P. Diddy's sons, Justin, Quincy, and Christian got into an altercation oh, with Ray J at a Halloween party. Now, it was a heated confrontation. They were upset that Ray J was speaking about their father, P. Diddy. Please now, say. Diddy, as Everyone we all know, is arrested and currently in jail waiting for trial over racketeering and trafficking charges and Ray J was one of the few celebrities who spoke up about it because a lot of people have been quiet but Ray J spoke up about it on his show reality check with Ray J and this is what he said about the well not that they're kids these are grown men but just seeing you know him with his dad is just really sad that he has to like experience his dad getting thrown in jail and hearing all these things about him situation and all the baby oil that he had in his possession. Is Diddy all there is? Is this what represents hip hop? This is what represents hip hop in its entirety. That's not true. Do you forgive somebody for taking somebody's ass? There's a lot of people out here taking from people. Not only like like people are people are getting robbed of not only their money and their spirituality. They're getting robbed of their womanhood and manhood. And their booties. What you say? Axes are being taken mm -hmm. in ways that nobody can explain. Mm -hmm. Do you chuckle? Do you laugh? Do you help? Do you criticize? Because I see a lot of jokes out there right now talking about baby oil. Everybody got a joke about having baby oil on loop. Is that okay? Is that the message? <laughs> that was funny, fam. Now what? I don't use baby oil. Lube sometimes in sex makes it better. Should I come out with Ray Y jelly and do some kind of like skit and say, KY just gave me a deal. Ray Y jelly, I got a thousand of them. Ha 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 ha. Ray Y. So that's some of what Ray J had to say regarding the whole Diddy situation. And he wasn't making light of it, but sometimes it's hard to take Ray J seriously. I mean, did he have to bring up the baby oil and lube thing? I know people were laughing about it because the feds did confiscate like a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube from Diddy, which we ended up finding out that all of those products were laced with drugs. But so these were the products that was he that was confirmed? using on his victims like Nothing. Cassie. So it's a very serious situation. It's not a funny matter, but I couldn't tell if he was being serious or if he was joking. But if he was joking, Diddy's sons didn't find it amusing at all because they yeah, confronted Ray J about it. Him? And they were about to get active. Bad. In fact, Hazel E. actually recounted the incident and said that it could have escalated to something tragic because somebody might have had the strap on them. Who knows? But Chris Brown actually Girl, intervened and he broke up the fight. So oh, he was the one who defused the situation, which is good to know. It's good to hear Chris breaking up Ooh, fights instead of being involved in them. <laughs> but I do wonder why are the Combs brothers so upset with Ray J? Are they really just upset at the fact that he made comments <laughs> about their... So upset with Ray J. Are they really... This is funny. His hair and these little this little fringe... <laughs> It just goes so well together. He just he upset at the fact that he made comments about their father on his show. Is that really the reason why they were upset and why they, they, they wanted to confront him? Or is there yeah, more to the story? Me. Because this is not the first time that they actually had a confrontation with Ray J. They actually had three different confrontations. And I find that to be quite odd. Like, what is really going on? Like, why do they keep bumping into Ray J? Why is Ray J bumping into them? What's going on there? I don't know, but I do know one thing. Diddy's sons need to be very, very, very careful because they are being watched by the feds. And any little mistake can get them hemmed up. So they need to be careful. I don't even think it's wise for them to be out and about partying. They need to just lay low.
spend time with your family, lay low, handle right. your business, but don't be out on the scene because you become a target that way. Like I said, the feds are watching them and also people in the industry are watching them too. So they got to be careful that they don't fall in the trap and they yeah, don't get like held up sure. because <laughs> they can't afford it. I know that's his daddy, but I need to look up a picture. Now, a scene. random thing happened after this. They Ray like J scary. got on Nicki Minaj's live because apparently he has been disturbing Nicki, trying to get in contact with her. And she was actually wow. annoyed with him, but she allowed him to talk and he did speak about the recent altercation he Not had with little. Nicki's sons. <laughs> Didn't you, was you just fighting people in the club? <laughs> No, I was being the better person in the club, and I and I want to always be a better person, and I want to start practicing um, being an advocate for mentorship programs for entrepreneurs that's making money that's possibly might fall off the deep end. Because that if they were mentored correctly, and if we can put some seminars together. Ray J, Ray J, but I will completely not only click on you. Before you finish your sentence, but I will oh. block you. Okay. Okay. So now, so what do you mean? What you want to know? Question. If to be answered, this is a court, sir. You're right. Okay. You yeah, came in court. trying to do. Not the concept. You've been trying to get my attention. Now you got it. Okay. You got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you just fighting in the club? Yes or no? I don't want. No, you. not no. We didn't have a fight. We had a big argument right outside the club. And who started it? This time, I think I got loud and got aggressive, but it was the third time this happened. And so I felt like I needed to, like, stand up for myself. Even though I was talking sh and we was having a lot of crazy words, I was walking that way to avoid the issue. What were y'all arguing about yesterday? That would tell me what I needed to know. What we was arguing about yesterday is that they, first off, they tried to fight me before in a hotel. They said, let's take, uh, Justin said, let's take a fade. I'm like, what you talking about with my yeah. pops? So you saying someone approached you, and this is the third time y'all been having this argument. What was y'all arguing about? Comments that I was making on my show. On my oh, news you got show. a show? I mean, I'm on the news now. I'm a news anchor. What? I'm a news anchor. I'm, I'm the main voice of the community when it comes to politics and it comes to shit. Well, I'm on the news. What, what, what were puppies, uh, children saying to you? They was just, they was just upset about everything, you know, and um, and it, it, like they upset had about, to be but what? upset about actors being taken. It's almost given Orlando, sweetheart, and I don't know. I promise so you, that's, like if that's what you that's what you were trying to give. I swear to God, it's not given Orlando because, because it's, I, you did, know, I, I just did I, it. I, like I know you wouldn't. You know, I, just I, I promise you, I just yes. did a one-on-one -on -one Even with Orlando. though I love Orlando, but I'm just saying, that I, I would hope you're not trying to act like him. Orlando's on drugs. Are you? Absolutely not. And, and the fact that you think all of this is funny, when there is, an, where is where, when there is an <laughs> issue right now with down low men. Ask because, they are, because they have wives and, 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 you know, innocent people. Who simply want to just know the truth? Well, I said it. This is just being taken. When did Nikki start talking like this? Because she did not always just talk like this. What is happening? I want to pull up like an older interview of her or something. Because she definitely didn't used to talk like this. In ways that can't nobody explain. They being what? manipulated. Yeah. And, and, and right now, they saying people in the church doing it. And like I said on the news, I can't even turn cheek to cheek. Because if somebody hit me, all I'm thinking about is butt cheeks. Actors are being manipulated without their consent. Yeah, he's a troll, bro. And how long were you around for its well, present? Of, of, of course, I wasn't there oh, when it oh, was actually. Oh, you was never there? No, I wasn't. What I'm saying is I've never been in a room where an act was being manipulated. But I know for a fact that these things are happening because of all the things that people are going through. If you knew, you said you weren't there, but you knew, and then you kept being around? No, no, what I was saying when I said that this is being taken had nothing to do with that. This is being taken since the 90s. Do you think that's funny? Yeah. That's what I asked them. Ask I said, do y'all think this who? is funny? Who the did world. ask that? I said, the world. I said, when I said, y'all think I'm going to come out with Ray White Jelly? I said, y'all think this is funny? I don't like baby oil. That's what I told them. So and you I'm tried saying, to pour baby oil on you? No, I...
I said that people joking too much about this bad thing that's happening, and then I said, should I come out with and Ray you White Jelly? You're joking about it. I'm promise. When there, no, I said, true. when there are Who's several people traumatized from what I can, you know, and I don't know anything to be proven true, but I'm just saying, people yes, are saying the same thing. Yes. Now, this whole it live was a good. bit bizarre. There were some funny moments, right? You know, Ray J can be very unserious, and mm -hmm. Nikki has her unserious moments as well, but there was also an undertone of seriousness in this whole conversation. From what I got from it, it seems like Nikki doesn't trust Ray J, and I don't necessarily blame her. Ray J does have a sketchy reputation. He does. Mm -hmm. He yeah. has been accused of being responsible for Wendy Williams and Whitney Houston's demise, he allegedly was supplying them and he was called out by the reality star stunner girl and Whitney's sister-in-law, Leola Brown. And I did a video on it. You could check it out if you want to. Also, Ray J has been a part of some odd pop culture moments. In fact, he helped popularize the Breakfast Club because he called up to the station and threatened the rapper Fabulous. He even threatened to send booty goons his way which was really bizarre. Oh also, we can't forget he was infamous for that tape he did with Kim Kardashian, and that jump-started Kim's career. And in a way, it was kind of an advertisement too, because when you think about it and think about how people in Hollywood really get down, it really wouldn't surprise me if some people saw that tape and wanted to use Kim and Ray J for their own purposes, if you get what I mean. Ray J was never the same when that tape dropped. I'll just put it like that. He was never the same. Also, another odd thing about Ray J is he has a pattern of trying to reach out to people who want to expose things and tell their story. Like, for example, Raz B. When Raz B was making allegations about Chris Stokes and what happened to him as a mm -hmm. child, Ray J called up his phone. Ray J was upset that Raz B name dropped him. And on the phone, Ray J said that he was getting calls from Jay-Z and Diddy about it. So he called up Raz, mm -hmm. and he also offered him a business opportunity. So Ray, Nick, look, I got you. Whatever. Raz, like you got a nigga that can't be every day. Puffy, everybody, Jay-Z, everybody calling. Done, I got you. I got you. I got you, Ray, and I, I need you to have me too, because I think I... Because it's like, damn, like you didn't even really have to mention a you know what I'm saying? Like, you really didn't even have to mention it, nigga. What did he say, Dorothy? Yeah, but I'm like, you're the first one now, and they're calling me, like, yo, what's up with this shit, man? And I'm like, they called me yesterday, like, yo, why the fuck are you speaking on Chris Stokes and Raz B? And they just asked me, why did Raz B say, ask Ray J? So what I'm supposed to say, no comment? I'm telling you what I can do for you. You know what I'm saying? DBC, my nigga, I got Sarah Palin, I got Dancing with the Stars, VH1, I got everybody in my corner, nigga. I can take your shit to the next level right now. So what do you want to do? You want to, what, you want to, what kind of partnership you want to talk about? I just got to think about it. Now that we talking, I got to think about how to structure it. That's how I deal and open them and do So Ray J tried to offer Raz B an opportunity. I don't know what happened with that, but... I think he did this as a way to keep Raz from speaking too much, at least about him in particular. Also, Ray J was trying to reach out to Jaguar Wright after she did that interview with Pierce Morgan and spoke about Diddy, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. Ray J was reaching out to Jaguar, and once again, he was trying to offer her an opportunity. Hey, yo, Jaguar Wright, I told you I had an opportunity for you. I told you I had bags for you. I'm trying to hear what you got to say. Good. But you want to keep taking these other money and not showing love to the community? That's weak as fuck. Hit me right now so I can make sure you get a bag and I can understand what the fuck you talking about so we'll know what's the truth and what's not. That's janky as fuck. You ain't hitting me back, but you hitting all these other motherfuckers back. That's from all these other countries. Like, you safe over there. You safe with me. Stop acting scary. Jaguar, hit me back right the f now, whenever you can. With all due respect, and I love you, and I'm sorry for cursing. Help me be a better person. Call me back. What? Also, Ray J has been reached out to Nicki Minaj. Nicki is a powerful voice in music, and when she speaks about certain things, people do pay attention. Now, during Nicki and Ray J's live, it came out that he was trying to reach out to her for some time to do business with her. Notice the pattern here, you know, he reaches out to people who are more outspoken and he tries to present an opportunity. 
and he wants to cozy up to them for whatever reason. And he might be doing this because he's possibly trying to keep them from talking or possibly to collect information. Who knows? But, you know, it seems like he's being sent by somebody, somebody powerful. And he has a pattern of doing this. So it does look suspicious. And Nikki doesn't trust him, clearly. I'm saying, what do you want? You've been trying to get my attention for the last couple of weeks, right? The first time was when you said you were signing artists. I hit you and said... It will sign me, I'm independent. And then sign you would you to do what? Sign you to do what? That seemed pretty that seemed pretty odd out of nowhere. Well, I'm independent, so I feel like and I'm just keeping it real, it's on everything. Like if you sign me, I'll be super late. Not just that's a fact. But yeah. you know, and so I I like I always do I try. Recently. That's all I can do is just keep trying. If I have one. So tonight I came on and said, Nikki, do, you think, well, do you think, well, this is funny? I promise you, I don't have, like, I'm not chuckling at all. You came on my live. Mm -hmm. you, you kept on commenting. You had DM me a while, of, uh, like, a, you know, I want to know what it is that you want to speak to me about. Like, I want to be, I want you to sign me. Okay, sing something. <laughs> it's not about that. It's not about huh? singing. What? I'm not about signing as an artist. What? Well, I can't do the, I can't do the singing, dancing, the oopty doopty no more. I, I got something bigger in play. I'm, I'm saying I got something bigger in play that I want you to sign me on. It's a multimedia play. It's a multimedia play that I wanted you to sign me on. You know, that has something to do with technology. That has something to do with AI. God will, like, God will take care of my needs and. Anything that I need, I I will have it. Okay, so I wish so, you the best. Thank you but, for thinking about me to be a business partner of yours. But no, thank you, sir. It wasn't about being a business partner. You was gonna you was gonna sign me. To me, integrity is very important. Who you are as a human being is, is important to me. It should be. Okay, and so I just hope that you are. Are happy with yourself you know no judgment because I am not God I am not I, I'm not in the position to anybody but I just want to ho I hope that you can look yourself in the mirror and always be happy with your choices that you've made everybody needs a little help sometimes through the process but yes I'm looking at myself what now are you just if talking I have about a way, I will oh. date myself that's how happy I am with myself, but I, I don't... Are you coming out of the, the closet? No. No. Oh. I was just... When? Talking. When will you? I can't. Huh? I can't. If, bro, I can't. if there's nothing in the closet, I can't come out with it. But shout out to the agency. I do have a agency. The what? The agency. Why does it matter what hold you enjoy? It's not right. Well, people... If it's, it's not, not about what hold. It's not about what hold. It is. It's about, it's about who the hold is on. So stop acting dense. Who the hole is on? This live was really a mess. It was. It was funny, but then it wasn't. It was more so bizarre. Yeah, very bizarre. But it seemed like Nikki might have been alluding to something. Some people think, oh, she's shaming his sexuality. But I don't think that's what she was trying to do. I think she was trying to let him know that she knows who he's connected to, basically. That's what I think. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. And we don't know who Ray J is connected to, by the way, okay? So let me just clarify that. But mm -hmm. I do know that Ray J has hung out with Diddy a few times. He's been around him. So I think this is one of the reasons why Diddy's sons were upset with him because they're like, hey, you hung around us. You hung around Diddy. Why all of a sudden mm -hmm. you're speaking out against him? So I think that's one of the reasons why Diddy's sons are upset. I do. But Nicki is suspicious of Ray J. And I can't blame her. Not to mention, back in the day, he did throw shade at Nicki Minaj in support of Lil' Kim. But I think she has other reasons why she doesn't trust him. I think Ray J has certain affiliations that she doesn't trust. And not to mention, he tried to do a reality show with her sister, Ming. He wanted to create something with Ming and Nikki's ex-boyfriend, Safari. Which is weird because we know that they Nikki doesn't rock with Safari them. at all. And also, what is his motives for trying to reach out to Ming? Does he genuinely want to help her career and help give her visibility? Or is he trying to exploit her because she's Nikki's sister? Nikki Minaj's sister's on one of your shows. Um, <laughs> Right now, uh, yeah, so far we're we'll producing um, some new shows, um, and um, I don't know, she, she, it might be a perfect fit for something we're working on. But if I asked about Nicki Minaj's sister, how's Safari come up? Because we're, we're producing the ideas. So she falls on like two like <laughs> ideas for us. Even if she doesn't want to do it, I want to do it. But I love her. She's so charismatic, and um, especially for the stuff that's like idol, like ensemble of Safari and I. 
So I think Ray J trying to do a show with Ming probably raises some suspicion in Nikki. And also I think Nikki's suspicious about some other things as well because she's wondering why Ray J is all of a sudden trying to cozy up to her. Like, what is he trying to gain? And who sent him? Like, what's going on? But you know, maybe he just genuinely wants to do business with her because Nikki is a very good. lucrative artist. She's one of the biggest rappers out, definitely the biggest female rapper out. She's very profitable. So I can understand him wanting to do business with her, but the timing is something to consider. Nice. It seems like recently he's been more persistent out of the blue and Nikki automatically has her guard up. And throughout the conversation, you could tell her guard was up. Never, never, never even think about playing with me, okay? Okay. You and everyone affiliated with playing along with you will regret it instantly. Mm -hmm. The moment you think or talk or conspire, okay? I don't know what you on. I'm sober. I mean, I had a couple shots. Uh -huh. Hold on, I meant to say I don't want you, I don't know what you take, but never take me for idiot. You understand? Nikki sees right through Ray J. I mean, right through him. <laughs> anyway, tell me what y'all think about this. What the fuck? What the hell <laughs> is taking place here on this day? Uh, I thought they were gonna talk more about the whole situation with Diddy's sons, but seems like they brush right past that. I don't know what's going on with Ray J, but he is highly suspicious. I would not trust him either, so I don't blame her. I would not want to work with him at all. How how can me working with you benefit me when I'm a much bigger artist than you? I'm doing fine on my own. I don't I don't need you for anything. If anything, it just benefits you completely. So it's enough for me. It's a hard pass. That's what I would say if I was her. I'm sure she did say that in so many words. But yeah, the whole uh, live based on what she showed was a bit bizarre. But sure, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!